to perform the individual manual muscle test for opponent's digiti minimi, the patient is seated at the table. The forearm and hand are supported on the table uh, in a supinated position, and the thumb and small finger pads are opposed. You want to make sure that you have opposition with it uh, pad to pad rather than just thumb and small finger flexion, which would result in a more tip to tip sort of orientation. The hand is stabilized at the second and third metacarpals. Resistance is applied to the volar surface of the fifth metacarpal head, and the direction of resistance is into flattening of the palm or pulling it out of opposition. So if you can just kind of hold that up there, very good, and I'm going to try to flatten it out. Don't let me move it. Hold, 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 hold. There we go. And that's a much weaker muscle than opponent's pollicis is, so it won't take as much resistance. The substitutions for opponent's digiti minimi would be simply flexion, where you have tip-to-tip -tip opposition instead of um, pad to pad where you have true opposition. All right? The muscle belly for opponent's digiti minimi is palpated right here in the radial aspect of the hypothenar eminence.